All of our pizzas have to go on our pasta pal. Oh, mm. that is really close. That looks pretty good, that one. Oh, man. Mm. I've already posted mine. Does that look mine. tasty? I'm posting yours now. That That's a big pie. The pizza was from a great night of food. New Year's Eve. Happy Homebrew Wednesday! Townsend, it's bottling night. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. I'll be back. Vanilla Porter. Mint chocolate milk stout. Whoa. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Big shout out to my buddy Rick who just had a knee replaced on Monday. Here's to you, buddy. Wow, that's pretty good. So I bottled off a 12 pack of the 13 pack of the mint in the 12 ounces and two bombers, and then a bomber of the uh, yeah, it's an old bottle. I got to take the label off. Uh, a bottle of the uh, Vanilla and a full case of 12. So, anyway, there's a lot of good work done tonight in a rather short period of time. So, I felt good. It was quiet. Without the music, it was quiet. But I had some good rocking tunes. Allman Brothers, Hendrix, Wilco, The Who, my son's band. Bunch of different music. Oh God. Who else was in there? Anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll be there next time. Hope everybody's having a great time. I booked a trip to Atlanta. I go in February. So that's gonna be cool. And I'm gonna spend a week. It'll be great. Cheers everybody. Catch you later. Here's my tortoise impression. Earlier, I had recorded a bit of a message thanking uh, a couple of guys that sort of inspired me to follow up on another beer. And it was a video from the Brew Dudes, John and Mike. Um, I think it was Mike was talking about his stout and his basic recipe. So I jotted down his you know, numbers as far as what he uses for a grain bill. And I thought about it. And I made a few changes to it for my own, uh, based on, you know, what my tastes are. And uh, he had suggested that. He said, you know, these are just, it's all homebrew, you know, so you do what you want to do. And so I, I used that and I changed out a recipe. But if you look at their video on fermenting in a keg, he gives a basic stout recipe that he's been using for years and it's it's really good my twist on it was that I used nugget hops only but I dumped in four pounds of cherries at 10 minutes so I had cherry I had maraschino cherries I had a jar of maraschino cherries so that was what I did with it and I'm looking forward to this I subbed out the uh, black black patent because I don't like black patent all that much. It's a little too bitter for me. But I did use Patagonia Black Pearl, which is a little bit sweeter. And then I used the crystal malts that he suggested. Um, I changed the 60 to an 80 because I had it. I didn't have 60. But anyway, uh, thanks to you guys for that inspirational moment. And uh, that's what spurred me on to do another beer. Um, it was the milk chocolate mint stout the first that was the first black you know dark beer that i did and then i saved the yeast cake 
and when I transferred to secondary, I brewed up my vanilla porter, and I dumped it onto the yeast cake in the fermenter. And then when I racked off the vanilla porter into the secondary, I brewed up the, the cherry stout, and then I dumped that in on to the yeast cake for that. This is the third beer in the fermenter. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Anyway, this will be the last one for the, but I just wanted to share that moment. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay. The beard's shorter. Hey, uh, special thanks uh, for my buddy Chris, the big C, from Hunter and Hales, for uh, letting me use his bottling wand. I got his Blickman and did all that bottling, so I wanted to say thank you. Hey, we'll see you later, bud. Somebody likes my lap. <laughs>